Hi friends, this is Prasad. You are watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario, which is nothing but sales by multi-period time axis. What is it meant by multi-period time axis? So when you want to sh show the sales by different periods in one axis, if you see, I do have quarters over here as well as I do have weeks also, sales by weeks also. This is what we call it as multi-period. How we can do this and then a lot of other things that we learn in this scenario. Before that, uh, going into solution, a small intro. We teach Power BI with SQL full course, okay, from basic to advanced, as well as we also have real-time project badges also, which are starting very soon. The really interested in our teaching and then want to learn Power BI very easy manner. So just contact on this number. We are on Power BI with Prasad's YouTube channel also. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. We are also on Telegram channel with Power BI with Prasad. The link is in the description. Please join that. You'll have a lot of information regarding Power BI material and then a lot of tips and tricks, everything that will show. And then we are also having some content kind of information over there also. So please contact. Uh, if you wanted to land Power BI in our okay, batches, or else if you can also join our Telegram channel for more information regarding Power BI. So we'll go into the solution. So in general, like if you have okay sales like this, if you need to make a drill down, you can have sales by one period. Either it might be yearly, either it might be quarterly, either it might be monthly. But you can't have multi period in one single axis. So again. It's not possible to drill down, so we will go for another option, which is nothing but okay, creating a custom column for that. Before creating a custom column, so let's go and see what's the model. We have a fact table, simple fact table, and then simple dimension table, which is nothing but gym date, a date table or a calendar table, whatever it might be. So, and then I had a relation between the date from my dimension table and then auto date, which is in my fact table. A simple model, and then we can see uh, how it was made. Okay, like this. So before uh, going into the solution, so let's uh, see how we created that kind of column. So this is what I've been created, the column. So here, let me explain you the logic in very easy way. We need to make two different ways. Okay, uh, uh, two different uh, values over here. One is one value need to be okay the year and quarter whenever it is not current quarter whenever it is the current quarter you need to have information like this year and week number so when you can create like this you can show this as an axis and then you can show the sales so how we can create this one so let me explain you this tax in very easy manner first of all i'll check whether this date is coming into my current quarter or not. So we'll check with that. We'll go, we'll write the if condition. So if quarter of him day, if this particular date quarter is equal to my current quarter, if it is the current quarter, the quarter of today, and again, we'll have uh, the quarter of today is third quarter, and then we can have the third quarter in each and every year but we don't want to make it like that. We need to find the current quarter of this year. So we need to check the second condition, which is nothing but year of team date is equal to year of today. It should be like current year. If my date comes into like current quarter and current year, then I need to show year space W and the quarter number. How we can make it? Format of dim date, and then you can get Y, 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 Y. So you'll get the year. And after that, space in W, you can get the space in W, so which is over here. And then week number of that dim date. So what is the week number of dim date? So I used to concatenate all these things using the Amazon symbol. So you get this list. Whenever it is not current day, current quarter, so how you need to get? Whenever it is not current quarter, it goes into false condition. So what is that? You need to have the year, space, quarter, and the quarter number. Again, this is a text data type column. So we need to create this one. Again, you see like format, date, dim date, date, and then from that I'm taking the year in text format. So again, this is in the text format, don't get confused. So here, and after that, okay, I want to add space and quarter. So say space and quarter I've been added and use it concatenate 
amber six symbol to concatenate. And after that, I need to add the quarter number, whatever the quarter number, how to get the quarter number, format of dim date, and then we can write a okay, Q in double quotation, which will give you the quarter number. So this is how I got, whenever it is current quarter, I used to get okay uh, this kind of information, year and quarter number, a year and week number. Whenever it is not current quarter, I need to have like year and quarter. This, this kind of column I've been created. Again, using this, can we make this kind of things? Again, we can make but up to some extent. So what is that? So if you make that kind of things, let me show you that. What, so, so uh, again, you'll get okay all the quarters at one uh, one side and then all the weeks at one other side, which is not exactly what we needed. We need to show like all the quarters at the same time in okay date wise order. So whenever it is like for quarter, so this uh, the quarter four of twenty twenty two need to be shown later because this. Uh, the weeks are uh, belongs to quarter three of 2022. So this should be shown first and then quarter four need to be shown last. So when you wanted to show like in a like a date wise, okay, or else like periodical sequential wise information. So obviously we need to find a shorting column column. For this column, what you have been created, you need to find a short order also. So for that, how we can create, we need to create another column, which is nothing but shorting column, short order column. So how we can create a very similar logic that you want to create. So we'll check whether it is current quarter or not. Whenever it is current quarter, whenever it is current quarter, I need to take the date, right? Quarter and then week number. If you show that, if you see that, okay, it shows like this. Okay, so let me show that. So here you see whenever it is current quarter, okay, I need to get, okay, the year and then quarter number, okay, and this is the third quarter and then week number, this is 29th week. So this is what I need to have. And then whenever it is not current quarter, I need to have the year and quarter. You see that? So year and quarter. So let's see this, right? This is this year and quarter. Right. I got this one. Again, I used amber set symbol so that you'll get this information in the text format. Amber set year, amber set quarter, and then week. So year you'll get, and then like quarter you'll get, and then week number you'll get, you'll get all those things concatenated, and then we'll get as okay, this particular format. So these are the two things that have been made. So short column once again. So when you have like okay current quarter you'll have this kind of information here uh, the week number uh, the quarter number and the week numbers and then whenever it is not current quarter you should get the year and then quarter so this is the short order column so what you need to do over here so you need to go for this particular okay axis you need to take this one okay so in this from this visual so let me show you i've been taking a column a column chart and then here you can see multi-period time access, which we created earlier, I took as an axis, and then sales. The sales, okay, okay, I've been taken, okay, over here. So for this axis, you need to give the short order. So short to buy, which column? The short order column, this column. When you create that kind of things, obviously, right? So you'll have, so after quarter two, I got like this, and after that, this is my current quarter, quarter three, so I got weekly sales in my current quarter, which is quarter three. And then afterwards, quarter four comes. The sort order is again, everything that you see in this order, perfectly designed. But how we can make it, okay, this kind of colors, whenever it is like quarters, not current quarter, okay, I need to show in light blue, sky blue color, whenever it is, okay, in my current quarter, I need to show all the weekly sales in, okay, in our orange color. So how we can make it, it's a very simple thing. You can create a conditional formatting using field format. So write simple. If my, so again, this column, the column which we have. So let me do that. So again, let you, again, I, I'm trying to write a measure. So uh, based upon this column, what I've been created. In this column, if I have Q, so I need to have that, that represents it's a quarter. And then in this column, if I have W, so that represents that's that's a current quarter, and then you are showing weekly sales. So whenever I have in this column Q, 
I need to get. Okay, so here, so let me show this. Sorry. Whenever I have Q in this one, okay, so I need to show sky blue. Whenever it is like W in this one, I need to show in orange. So how to check that one? So again, to make it uh, to, to to make use of more uh, functions, I use this one. If contain string, if this particular column, so max of this particular dim date, multi period, uh, time axis column has Q. Contain string checks whether this particular column has that. Uh, this this text part or not. If it is have, then it will be true. So whenever it is true, I need to get sky blue. And then if it is not Q, whenever it is, then doesn't have Q, means whenever it is current quarter, I'll have the W. So obviously I need to show orange. I'll take this one and then like, uh, I'll use this measure and then uh, go over here into my, okay, tables uh, over here and then go for color and then you can see so as field formatting, so as field formatting, I use this color, okay, which I've been created this color, and then click on this one. And this one. So conditionally format. And then again, if you want to make it like uh, every month, uh, every every year's first month need to be like this, okay, you'll write uh, this particular column as uh, that particular requirement, and then and then create a short order column so that any any kind of requirement, this kind of multi-period access requirement, you can use the same technique, but the okay, only condition will change this, you need to check as per your requirement, and then you can do this. Apart from this, okay, in the very next uh, video, we are trying to give a, a visual customization concept, which is nothing but converting our okay default visuals into something new, which is not visual, like which is not like custom visuals. I want to uh, uh, demonstrate you uh, visual customization techniques, which you can make your report very beautiful. Just similar looks like this one. So again, so this is another uh, visual customization, which, which I don't have any custom visuals over here. So using our default visuals, you can create this kind of like uh, pretty good visuals also, like which works dynamically. And then you can see how it's happening. Well, let's see this kind of uh, okay, very good uh, uh, videos in very uh, like a few days coming soon. Stay tuned and then subscribe to our channel for this kind of like information. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and then if you're really interested to learn okay uh, with us uh, in a very easy manner, okay, just uh, uh, ping this number, okay, and then you can contact us. And then you can start learning RBA and SQL very easily. Right? Thank you so much. And then we'll come, come again back soon. Have a great day.